Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are back on the rock full of brains. It's a several asteroids out in the wilds of space. We currently inhabit two Pyaxlin, our nice little water and oil but, uh, oil asteroid over here, and Reverselin, the one we started on, where we've been doing a whole bunch of stuff. Last time we were trying to get ourselves some rad bolts up together, we have getting the radiation from the reeds wheeze warts sucked up by the red bolt generators these are being fired around and our material study terminal it's practically always full there's something that is struggling in our technology connections here is um we're running out of dirt. We're, we're actually getting quite quite low if I have a look in our system here. Uh, we can see that we're like 290 kilos, but if I come over to Pyaxlin and do the same search, you can see we've got 109 tons. I feel like we need to start moving that across just to keep our keep our technology running smooth. I don't know whether people are going to get it on that. Like three or fours, that might be fine. Combat, I should imagine, is... Oh, you look slightly irradiated, but I feel like we're taking out the smooth hatches now here that's fine they kept on eating my ores they cannot survive the uh, magma flow has slowed down here of course this on this side we're trying to tunnel our way up to the surface through the power of making food for our our rock hatches over here stone hatches stone rock hatches stone hatches what what's the difference hey i'd stop the magma so that we could put in some temperature sensing equipment for the solid materials that are going through unfortunately i don't think we're going to be able to get the space science going quite fast enough so I'm going to let it flood uh, to safe in the knowledge that we can indeed stop the system and uh, let it empty out but also look look at how much this is emptying out all of the lava now I feel like we could maybe poke our way up through the side here and up over here that might be a nice little side project but uh, our main project at the moment is to try and actually get the science the space science up and running with um, a slightly better equipped rocket than we've got right here. We've got the so solo nose cone at the moment and this will do fine if we need to but I think if I come into the research and have a look just below the science that we're doing right now, there is the spacefarer module. I'm going to stop doing this glass forge because that was literally done just on a whim uh, and instead do the durable life support. I think we can get a larger container on there, a larger command module so that our duplicate can be just a little bit more comfortable up there definitely gonna have to unlock a few other things for the rockets before we leave uh, like these gas intakes and outtakes so that we can scrub the air inside the, the cabin without actually having to have an air scrubber there's also been another little issue brewing over here. We've got ourselves a little gas bubble caught over the top of this liquid vent. Shouldn't really be too much of a problem, apart from we're not consuming water fast enough on this rock. So as you can see, we're starting to get close to over tipping here, and I, I, I don't want that to happen. So let's quickly, whilst we're set up a system, uh, I'm gonna pop down uh, a hydro sensor to find out whether there's any water there or not, or any liquids in, uh, at all, but in this case, we're doing water and uh, one of these. Oh, I need to destroy a ladder. Hmm. We can get a mechanized airlock in place. Oh, that took a little bit of time. And I'm also going to have the Hydra sensor trying to see if there's any liquid around at all. So I only send a green signal if we're below. I mean, I suppose I should put below one, right? Uh, and then that should seal this one up. The liquid vent is still open. The animation's just glitched. It does say disabled. There should be a, uh, a covering over that. But the door has also locked in place, so it should slow down the cool steam vent over here, which we may actually end up cooling down the water around here quite nicely. That that would be that would be nice because then we could start pulling the temperature out of this water as well, because that's quite hot. But of course, this does lead to another issue. This was the cleaning system for. I mean, we got the toilets over here, but also clearing this out. Hmm, what are we going to do with that? The end of cycle 500 brings an answer to that question. We're going to feed it to pincher peppers. Now, thimble reeds would have been much better, like five times better. Well, near enough, four and a half times better. But we don't have access to thimble reeds. We're using Dreco to get our reed fiber. So we're going to... Where's my Drecos? Oh, they, they starved, didn't they? I, I remember. But we're going to use that. Man, this, this could have fed them. 
Uh, we, we're going to use the pinch pepper to drink up all of the polluted water that's coming up and out of here so that we can use just the uh, the cleaning system for the toilets and a little bit of runoff from things like the um, natural gas geyser over there. You might have noticed there's a little bit of a problem. We've got no power here and that is because we have run out of petroleum without any petroleum out. And of course, natural gas geyser has gone dormant for the next 21 days. Yeah, absolutely wonderful. So we need to try and sort this problem out like right now. And the way that I'm going to combat that is with coal power. Yes, indeed. Let's uh, go ahead go ahead and violate it. Is it the Paris Convention? I don't know. I think Mon Montreal was the hairspray, right? Montreal was CFCs. Pa I think Paris is, is carbon. Is that right? I'm sure that's what you signed up for when you clicked on this video. Yes. <laughs> but two coal generators. We should be okay. We've got coal around in places. We've been digging little bits up. Oh no, that's phosphorite. Here's coal over here. We've been digging little bits up. We all also have a hatch that's been eaten. Oh, I must have must have dealt with him, but have been eating all our dirt. But dirt is a precious, precious resource, as I have explained earlier, to be used up. Uh, as you can see, we're, we're out of dirt again over this side, which is a shame because we're still researching a bunch of stuff that we need for the for the rocket. Where, where, what are we researching at the moment? Oh, look at that, like two points short, two points. Let's try and figure out how to send more dirt over. Oh, of course, we're out of power. We, we, got, we got to get these coal generators built and oh, we can't do it out of copper ore, oh no. Well, that's mildly inconvenient. So the reason that we can't do it out of copper ore is because the copper ore has an overheat temperature of 75. The area around here is 65. I mean, we might be okay. It's only really down below where it's super hot. We'll, we'll see if we can get away with it because honestly, we don't have any other choice. Okay, we are of course instantly into overheat temperatures. Okay, that's not amazing, but we, we will make do with it. We will make do. We might even rip this one down and try and figure out a way to get some more steel over at some point. We are going to have to do an entire new metal refinery area at some point. It's, it's quite warm over here. We're, we're going to have to uh, mitigate that particular warming process. Okay, through using a little bit of alarms, we've got managed to get a bunch of coal dropped into the generator. This now means that Franklin can turn the petrol uh, uh, crank, the, the thing that turns the oil into petrol. And now we've got a little bit of back fill going. Uh, we've got to fill up all the individual batteries on all the different loops first. I don't know whether that one's actually getting charged, but then we should start seeing some charge in this battery which which will be amazing that's that's exactly what we need we also need someone to turn the handle okay that's that crisis averted well, what's going on with my plants let's let's turn them up because they're kind of important or or down to how how does it happen every time i make a decision why is this it, it'll be because i've spent the day observing the base and seeing if anything decent is going down and then uh, have all the corrective measures worked out at the end i'm gonna grab a whole bunch of barbecue here still looking for someone who can decorate and is good at tidying but whilst past me watches over Pi accident for a cycle here to make sure it's running at least to the peak efficiency that I can make sure is happening, I'd like to take this moment right here and thank the people that are making sure that I run at peak efficiency. Yes, that's right, my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you should see a list of names. A list of names of the guys and girls that have taken the time out of their day and the monies out of their wallet to make sure me and my shenanigans on this cha channel can carry on happening. These people headed over to Patreon.com and have donated me a monthly amount of money to, at the moment, pay off my electricity bill. So a big thanks out to them. It really is a thanks to all my patrons that, that, that this can even happen. Thank you. Thank you very much. I've gone ahead and put a liquid reservoir in the line between the oil down at the bottom and the oil reservoir up top. Because uh, I noticed Franklin was going through doing a doing a, a few cycles here, popping over to that side, and then we had run out of pressure in the pipes. Somehow this seems to be okay. Are we slowly losing pressure here? No. Somehow the pump seems to be able to keep up with the refinery at this rate. Okay, this is good. We should now be filling up this liquid reservoir and we should be able to get back on track. I'm a little worried about the amount of carbon dioxide that there is not here. Uh, we're, we're unable to sustain the pressure needed for our pitcher peppers over here, but I'm, I'm hoping that's just teething problems as we slowly get our Slickster ranches on the go. Maybe, maybe we're gonna have to stop this one. Maybe, maybe this one at the bottom is too much. 
So the coal generators have nearly burnt themselves out. I think we're going to rip them down now. This petroleum generator actually got itself a little bit of a backlog of building up now to the point where it's actually stopping us being able to pump out more oil down below, which has stopped the pincher peppers because, of course, we've had to humanely cull the uh, the whole of the bottom farm down here so we can start building up a little bit of pressure. We were at less, uh, less than 100 grams. We're now at 300 grams. I don't know at what point the polluted water becomes over pressurized and stops uh, out gassing but for now it's got a high enough pressure for the pinch of peppers but we're not pumping be because the liquids are fine and, and stuff like that but I said something about going to space. Let, let's go to space. I've had enough of waiting around. Uh, I'm going to put some breathable gases in here. We're just going to put some oxygen in. I'm going to take all the oxygen out of the telescope here. And we're going to dump it into the the rocket so that our duplicates and can, duplicate can survive up there. In a side, I have built... Well, I'm asking to be built and have actually built a toilet. No liquid intake. Ooh, I might have to uh, add a little tank yeah I, I didn't think about that let's add one more do i have a liquid tank liquid cargo tank let's add that i think i've just locked someone in there so let's uh, also get these built much higher priority than that so curie is indeed stuck inside can we uh, can we get this stuff built thanks very much seems to be taking a little bit of time franklin coming through i suppose really i only needed that one to be built suffocating there we go that's the uh, the problem that we know to exist no, no no too much radiation well thanks for letting me know about that franklin okay Mmm, night time's just been called i'm sure that won't impact this system at all no Oh, oh, Maxwell made delivery. Curie's like, yep, I can get out here. I can make this. It's on the uh, the super high priority. Yeah, there we go. All right, nice, nice. Let's just turn that. Let, let's let everyone go for dinner. Frank, uh, Ruben, sorry, is like, no, 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 no. I've got a delivery to make. It, it needs to happen. Good work, Ruben. Good work. One of the challenges we're facing right now is, of course, that we need to make some steam for this steam engine, and I really want to make it nice and close. We could just try and siphon some of the steam out of here, but then we'd have to pipe with all the gases all the way over this way, and I feel like that's going to do nothing but warm up my base. So I'd like to build a thermo aqua tuner down here, but as we all know, if you don't build one out of steel, you are in trouble. I've only got 95 kilograms of steel over uh, here on Pyaxlin, but over on reverse in. I've only got 250 kilograms of steel and the main thing holding us up is the lime. I mean there, there are a few eggshells to lime that could happen but they're not really going to bring in the amount of steel that I need. There's um, there's, there's a, a calorie issue over here. Let's, let's kill some of these hatches shall we? And so with that in mind, I'm going to dig through the bottom of my base here and get to some of these bright orange fossil deposits. These are the things that are going to make absolute metric buttloads of lime. Uh, and we can also kill some more six slicksters by getting uh, too involved. Okay, we've got some more research coming through. Uh, it turns out if I want to have solar panels on this, if I go through and go uh, solar panel, uh, I need glass. The, the thing that I said, I only clicked on a whim turns out i do actually need it so we're gonna work on that i don't know if we're gonna actually build it somewhere over on reverse lin here or maybe Pyaxlin. we kind of need a proper industrial sauna for it but i have noticed that the steam engine creates power i don't know how to tap that if i press f2 there's no plug i can't I can't just like pull the power out of it. So I'm going to load the battery off of my off of my grid here and hopefully that will be enough to keep our materials running. Is is this stuff not up and running yet? A invalid build location and these guys are waiting for deliveries. Okay, fair enough. Ah, I've made a problem. So I was thinking that we could use the gas canister here to put the gas in and out of the uh, space ferro module. But of course, to do that, you need... Let's have a look. Where is it? These... No, not those liquid port loaders. These gas intake fittings, these here, not the ones on the floor. The ones on the floor are actually connected to these out here. So I'm going to uh, mildly redo the interior here. If I press F7, I've already got some gas down, but I'm going to end up storing a lot of the oxygen that I'm going to need just, just here, just in this gas pipe. 
So now we've got a gas canister full of... What happens if I just deconstruct it? Is it just going to get dropped on the floor? I mean, we're about to find out. This this will be interesting. So we could do the same with the liquids here as well. Be like, I, I don't I don't want this. Let's cancel the build. Bye-bye, Franklin. That, that's a bit unfortunate. I really wanted you to deconstruct this. Okay, there we go. What happened to the gas? It got deleted? Question mark? Deletion's always good. I'm not seeing any gas out here. Maybe it all disappeared quicker, though. It was only 18 grams. Anyway, fossil has very much been achieved. Let's dig up and through into all of this as well. Uh, okay, so that that's pretty good. So the fossils indicate that this... This place had life forms beforehand, yes? Yes? There, this, this, this was the bottom of an ocean, looking at the fossils that got left behind? I think so. I think so. Oh, there's another vent here. I bet. I bet it's just a... Oil. Oh no, it can't be an oil well. Oil wells don't have the, the neutronium underneath. Okay, well I guess we're, we're going to carry on digging and go find out what that is. Without applying too much pressure, we're getting a little bit of the fossil moving now. Uh, power was a bit of an issue to get going, but all of the fossil is just down here and underground. So the moment people drop off, because I have the proximity... Do, do I have pro Let's turn that on and have a look. I don't have the proximity. Well, anyway, because everything has the same amount of... Um, urgency the closest wins i think that's probably how that works uh, and the the fossil is indeed the closest and so it gets dropped off beautiful of course that all goes into a teleporter it teleports over here to reverse in the place with the lava where it all gets dropped on the floor it should then be picked up by someone and dropped over here we've got this whole fossil to lime stuff going down uh we're Boar? Boar is cooking first. Okay, what, what, is, what is Plank doing? Oh, he's moving other things around? I wonder what he's actually doing. Dirt to research. Okay, yeah, I, I suppose that's fine. I suppose that's fine. What about Rutherford? I bet he's doing ranching stuff. Yeah, okay. Okay, Boar making a fossil delivery and no one wants to do the work. That's the problem nowadays. No one wants to do any work. <laughs> Okay, here comes Plank to do the actual fabrication. Nice, smash the button, crush the uh, fossil, turn it into bits of lime. I'm sure that's entirely how it works. You don't actually have to do some chemical processing or anything, but fine, that's that's cool. Uh, we're gonna get that. The problem with having these little symbols up is you don't get to see the bar in the background. I believe there's a mod to get rid of those, but I don't want to install mods and lose access to to my, to my achievements and stuff. I suppose I do actually have mods installed, so uh, something to look into. Anyway, Boar has picked up the uh, lime here, delivered it off to the metal refinery, and, and someone at any point, at any point, can start making steel. Oh, and he's away. He got, he got two without me looking. Uh, just in time for us to watch a bit of steel drop on the floor. We've gone from 250 to 450 kilograms, and like that, we will eventually get enough to to be going I, I forgot to turn this off and people have made a mess is, is that a thing that actually happened i don't know i'm gonna turn that off and, and wait and see what happens no it's just starvation we're fine we're just gonna send franklin on a little bit of a round trip she's the only uh mechatronics engineer that we have at the moment across both bases we could probably sort that out my, my people over on the other base are more than happy enough to take on uh more jobs but hey what was franklin Franklin's here. Let, let's let her run. Oh, what, what's she actually going to do? She's going to use the toilet. Okay. Well, yeah. So the problem with mechatronic engineers, and I don't know if you guys have this as well. If we look down, she, to, to get to mechatronics, you've got improved carrying and improved tinkering, which means somewhere along the line, you've probably turned them into a supply slash operate person. Look, supply operating, right? That, that That's kind of what they do. But the mechatronic skill is for building the auto sweeper. So a lot of the time, they just go around and do all the odd jobs that are needed in the base rather than the job you want them to do. Uh, yeah, it gets, uh, it gets a little bit a little bit awkward at times. All right, well, we're going to send Franklin back because she did actually do what I asked her to do whilst I was complaining that she wouldn't do what I wanted her to do. But, you know, that, that that's fine. And we will teleport her home. Uh, hopefully someone will come along and just fix that little bit of power there because, of course, the thing I wanted to happen is the auto sweeper 
th thanks very much game moving my focus to move things like the barbecue from the floor into the fridge that 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 would be really handy whilst we're waiting for the steel to roll in we've been going around doing a few improvements here i've uh, put some plastic tiles down in an effort to try and stop the amount of radiation getting down to the bottom here we've got a mess table and a wall toilet i'm currently researching the smallest valves the smallest pumps so that i can have a carbon dioxide filter over here a carbon dioxide detector over here and that will mean that most of this over here will be a will be carbon dioxide which we could then pump out to the uh, the, the gas pipe here maybe we'd actually turn this this pipe upwards here and then have this as a carbon dioxide storage might might work like that but we need the research and of course as always we are totally beholden to the amount of dirt that we have uh, it's currently being picked up from our teleporter because of course almost all our dirt comes from Pyaxlin uh, and delivered to the research station where little bits are being kept we've got uh, a fair bit more to go though okay that's the valves but Rutherford seems to be stuck in this weird loop where he he uh, ranches up a, ha a, a, a hatch over here and then delivers it off to the same drop off just goes round in a circle it was quite distressing to watch him do that I'm, I'm glad he kind of got interrupted let's view the interior here because I want to come to the ventilation and I want the smallest mini gas pump okay great uh, do we turn it upside down I think we might no we're gonna put it that way up we're gonna break here and here rejoin that and drop that into the bottom okay that that's great we've got this is gas storage for carbon dioxide it's not a lot of gas storage for carbon dioxide but at least you know there's some and power okay this this should be fine i feel like there's a better way to do this as in i don't even know how i'm going to get some food in there so maybe we'll deconstruct this storage bin put down a fridge get a whole load of food delivered and then rebuild the storage bin. I think I think that's the way we're going to do that. This will leave food on the floor. I might even destroy this tile to drop the food into the carbon dioxide because that's kind of sterile, right? No, Curie, no. Oh, this is going to cause some troubles outside. Any anything happened? I, I would have thought a whole bunch of stuff would have just been thrown outside. But no. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. I can live with that. Food on the floor though. Okay, that's good. That's good. We've pretty much got the steam box finished now. Curie's coming along just to add a few last minute additions to it to make sure I have full control over it. And also whilst I'm at it, I just I forgot to show you guys that it's a minor volcano down here, which means we're probably at some point going to be using the heat from the minor volcano to make an oil, um, a petroleum boiler. We'll, we'll, we'll use the heat to boil up all the oil and turn it all into petroleum and then try and cool it down somehow, maybe with cool chlorine as we've got it up there. But with the building of this steam box, we're pretty Pretty much ready to go. There's a few things I need to do, like uh, when this wall gets built. I've also just noticed that we got a problem here. Let's see if we can make sure that this gets dealt with before the insulated tile gets built. That's hopefully something. We've got a little bit of wire back here that needs to connect up to this liquid shutoff valve, and I'm hoping that it gets built before. Oh wait, we've the whole inside of here still needs to be built. Oh yeah, that's gonna take a while. Oh, is she, what's she gonna do? Is she gonna build herself into the box? I don't know why I even stood there and watched that. What I should have done is made a move beforehand. Anyone gonna um, do this last bit for me as well? Right, thanks. We're gonna, we're gonna drop a little bit of uranium in the box. That That's fine. I, I think we could just about deal with that. Let's try and backfill this whole mess in now. Okay, whilst that is going on, if I press F7, you can see that I've not actually connected this pipe up to anything. That's because I'm going to throw it into the waste outlet here. And let's just pump this area completely clear of all gases. Mostly it's oxygen being pumped out because, you know, we're a clean running base. We like to have breathable atmosphere everywhere. One of the things that we need to do to create steam is, of course, take heat from somewhere. So what I've done is I've gone and split off our cooling loop, which was actually starting to struggle a little bit anyway. And I've made this new loop that comes up to the steam box that just chills down the entrance to our oil platform over here. This should mean that we don't get too hot 
But we're going to cool down the Slicksters nice and fast so we can kill them. These are our meat source after all. Over here is where we keep replenishing them from. Um, but it also means that if, if and when this stops because we've got enough steam on the go, it's not going to be the end of the world if a little bit of heat leaks out because we've got other cooling loops. Let's not press that one. This other cooling loop here to take care of it. So I guess the only thing we need to do is to start changing some of the toggle switches here. Now, I've disconnected this, so we're going to connect that up. This... Oh, did you... Did you see what I've got? Oh, man. Like, we're so... We're so far away from what we actually need to do. Oh, okay. <laughs> but anyway, this atmospheric sensor is looking for the pressure in here. It's under a kilogram at the moment, so it's like, hey, can we have more water? The water is being passed in from this random line of water that I've got over here, getting thrown onto the floor. Can I get rid of this overlay? Thank you very much. And then this thermosensor is like, are we below 300 degrees? That's when we start destroying our thermosensor. And if we are below 300 degrees, is the water over 40? degrees because of course we don't want to freeze the water if both of these things are true the thermal aqua tuna will turn on and we're going to start making ourselves some steam here I, I sure do hope as long as we don't reach a bit of an equilibrium that would be the worst bit where we just end up pouring in more and more and more water uh, the thermal aqua tuna seems to be getting warmer I think I might just for the sake of um Speedity in this process to, to, to make sure this actually happens. We're going to stop off, uh, stop the inflow of more cool water and let this thermal aqua tuna warm up to, uh, to temperature first. Oh, the, the temperature of the water coming through has started to drop significantly. 20, only 25 degrees as opposed to the 40 we were seeing earlier. Uh, I wonder whether we're going to actually be able to boil this water before we get there. Look at the loads on the wire, though. We might need to make this place a its own little system. This is kind of scary. I don't mind admitting to you. Uh, I could I could easily have a steam explosion here. Uh, we could easily overpower stuff. That we, we're now underpowered. What? What is this? <laughs> Power coming down this line to this battery here. Okay. Well, we're, we're just waiting for the petroleum generator to, to keep going. Okay. Why are we not pulling the power out of the battery? Maybe it's because this singular power transformer here is not enough to keep up. So what I'm going to do is turn this around so they both feed into there. There, and then that can pull two uh, 2,000 watts, which is what the maximum this can pull uh, to keep this powered. That that should hopefully keep it in a steady state. 97, 98, hitting 100 degrees, but the water itself is only... Uh, we can't see it. It's off the bottom of my screen. 99 degrees. Okay, we're, we're, we're getting there. We are getting there. Getting ready to reconnect this situation when the steam starts flowing. 101. We need 103 before the water will actually change, and we're at a 100 and a half. 101. Okay, that's nice. Here we go. Ste steam is being formed. Steam is being formed. We've got some cold... Oh, wait. Turn that off. Yes. But why cold damage? Uh, do the pipes need to be warmed up? Hmm, that's slightly annoying. I got insulated gas pipe. This was totally something I didn't want to off-gas like that. Mm, uh, to, to cool down like that. Okay, yeah, look at this. Problems. Problems. I might... Just leave the whole system flowing. This is now over... Um, it's, it's 15 kilograms now. M much over what it needs to be to trigger. I'm going to connect that back together so there's no extra liquid flow there. And we're just going to start warming up these pipes. I think I think that might be the way we do it. There's going to be a lot of liquid dropped here though, right? Do I care? I don't, I, don't, I don't think I care right now. Okay, so the next thing to do is to split this put a bridge over to the other side obviously we've got a lot of repairs to do up here but that that's fine we're still we're trying to warm up all the pipes for the steam engine does the steam engine give a an output here rocket platform ready for flight yeah it doesn't really say what these are doing this is an output sends a green platform when the rocket on, uh, is on the rocket platform so yeah and this sends a green signal when the rocket is ready for flight shame the engine doesn't tell us when it's full okay we're moving some more gases through and into here now okay this is this is good this is good as you can see a little little blue bit is popping up there uh does it tell us anywhere what it's taking mm, kilograms okay doesn't tell us what the maximum is. That's a shame. That max 150. Okay, that that that's cool. Do you reckon we can get people to come along and repair all of this? No, not at downtime. I don't think we can. 
Okay, at about 100 kilos, I'm going to turn this off. We'll see how much extra we get in here. We're at 98 when I turned it off. Let's let's remember that, 98. Uh, and how far is this going to feel? Because it tells me how much we've got in the pipe. Let's call it 10. Let's say that we were at 95. We're now at 105. Uh, that, that's a nice, easy way to just remember it. So we've got about 10 kilos worth of storage in this pipe. So can we get closer? Maybe run this until we've got 140. I'm going to go to 135 and then turn it off because, of course, I don't want steam just being left sat in my pipes to, uh, to, to condense and cause some trouble. So 135 is what we're looking for. Of course, it's going to take me a moment to click and move and do all the things that need to happen, but we'll try and preempt that. 125, we've still only got 10 more kilos to wait for it to go in. 132, 3, 4, 5. Bam, turn that off. Uh, I probably should have waited for exactly 140, but yeah, that, that, that's fine, that's fine. 145, 146, I, I, you know what, I may have been... That's that's good. That's that's as close to on the money as I need. So now, uh, not, not research, we, we need to have a look at our skill trees and decide who's actually flying. Not Ruben, probably not Maxwell, probably not Franklin, no, probably not Franklin, and probably not Curie as well. Even though she does have a whole bunch of good stuff here, what we're actually looking for is someone who can do all of the research tree in the middle here, so, and also rocketry piling. Now, I'm looking at Plank, I'm looking at Plank, and I'm noticing that he only needs two more levels to have literally everything we need now he is gonna go insane i'm just i'm just gonna click this bam bam he is gonna go insane on the travel but i i think we can live with that i think that's something i mean we can live with i don't know how well he's gonna do oh two blueprint as we just got here we're looking of course for someone who can decorate and decorate and tidy but that's not what we got, so we got some bright seeds instead. Uh, also up here, everyone seems to be nice and chill, so we're gonna we're gonna send Plank, Rutherford, the only one really doing any work. Boar making the steel and the food as and when it is required of him. Uh, so we, yeah, we can we can steal Plank from the system. That's that's fine. Uh, is he gonna? Where's he going? Oh, he's here to move plastic around. Okay, that's good because we also all our food rotted so we need to figure out how to get food back in here and I, the, the way i'm blatantly gonna do it is rip this down again I'm, I'm gonna leave a fridge this time and we're gonna leave the plastic on the floor that might be the better way of doing it here yeah there we go all right great uh and we're gonna go food construct a refrigerator nice Okay, night time has just been called, so we're going to wait for the next day. Iron? Ew, who builds pipes out of iron? Let's try and make that a little bit nicer. Maybe make them out of lead. We're going to have to cancel everything because, of course, it's still trying to build them out of lead. Uh, but overnight, we're going to let these guys do what it is they need to do. Get some food, get some rest. I don't know. The, the plank. That I want you over here. Uh, the problem with this one is the toilets aren't hooked up because the piping is a nightmare over here. In fact, I might actually be able to do it now. Um, but I, I also need to figure out how to get some cooling down here mm. these are definitely other day problems we've just had a new day so i'm going to come into the crew we're gonna go plank if you could thank you very much uh, and we're gonna go crew Let, let's get you over in here destination is not set we can of course change a destination over here uh, all i want to do we're not we're not even oh we could we could go and check out a new place but actually all i want to do is go and get some uh some 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 space science so we're going to do that with plank in the rocket there's no reason not to hit begin launch sequence let's do this three two one away we go this is a huge waste look at all this steam that is just being dropped around and none of it is being harvested but more importantly we are off uh, oh we got an achievement yes we got the achievement space race launch your first rocket into space normally we would get that much earlier in the game but of course on reversing where we started we've We've not got access to space. So we had to come over to Pyaxlin and then from Pyaxlin launch our way into space. Okay, so this guy, nothing nothing has been set up. Let's do that. We can go through five tons of plastic at five kilograms a time. That's that's an awful lot. That's going to give us access to over 1,000 data banks. But I'm, with that, I'm going to have to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we managed to get our boy Plank here out onto the star map. We've started exploring space. We are officially in the Spaced Out DLC. I will see you guys next time where we're going to make more use of all of this research and move on to even more comfortable and efficient technologies. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. 
Bye. Can't wait till we can plug through here and get some rockets. <laughs>